So what's up, y'all? This is the girl, Sugary Girl Candy, 2012. Um, first, I want to say, I originally, I originally had a video of me giving my thoughts on uh, the VGX and how much it sucked and how much of a disaster it was. But for some odd reason, my uh, computer and or my mic or whatever thought it was cute to not record it. So you know, I just really do not feel like doing it over. Uh, basically I just said I didn't like the way um I didn't like the layout I didn't like how bland it was how unenthusiastic everybody in the studio was um how it was crowdless how like literally within the first hour they announced the game of the year which pretty much just sent the show downhill after that and I'm pretty sure a lot of people stopped watching when the you know the game of the year was announced and basically how um the reason for you know it being terrible is because it's connected the VGA or now the VGX is now connected with um game trailers and Spike TV so basically if game trailers goes down then so does you know the VGAs and stuff like that and they said you know they you know and game trailers is like one of those sites where um where people looked at and viewed during like the mid 2000s and and early 2000s but you know they don't look they don't go to it or look at it anymore because now you have YouTube and all these other you know gaming sites having their own YouTube like GameSpot and IGN and stuff like that so people figure what's the point of watching a video on the original site that may not even be of good quality well, I can just go to YouTube and watch it in good quality and have a better chance of viewing it without something interrupting it and stopping it. Alright, so basically, let me get on to this story before I start rambling on too much. But anyway, so I found this interesting because somebody I'm sub to did an, uh, a video. I did a video talking about the same situation, this article and stuff. And I just felt that me leaving my thoughts in my comments was just wasn't enough for this shit you know for how I really felt so basically I've just decided to do a video about it so as you read the title a man pays $750 for a piece of paper he thought was an Xbox One okay first of all what is it with people okay now I probably can understand the people some people if they had a little extra money to spend but then again I still don't think I would understand because I mean Regardless of what, if you got the money, if you don't got the money, what would make you go out and spend over the value of a product? You know, I'll be damned if I be that pressed enough to go out and buy a um an uh a product for over its value. I mean, it's ridiculous and some people online are taking advantage of that because they know how much people want the consoles and for xbox ones i'm not trying to sound like i'm um, being like uh pretty one-sided here on this but they're pretty much easy to find in stores um basically the walmarts that i live near you know there's three i've been to have xbox ones in stock so you know it's not like the xbox one is really it's rare as the playstation 4 where you can't even you you either find only a couple or you don't find none at all so you know literally the, the ps4s are just leaving the shelves within hours on the end so they're literally hard to find and and sony themselves are trying to keep up with you know the pace of how fast they're leaving the shelves of these you know these retails but anyway so yeah uh here's the picture and here's the picture of his xbox one so let me read it and then I'll give my thoughts on a few lines of this and I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. So it says 19 year old Peter Clatworthy received a free Xbox One from retailer Sex on Saturday. He also got a full refund from the original, original, <laughs> the original eBay scam. Now I'm going to give my thoughts on that. I just can't wait. <laughs> the United Kingdom teenager teenager did not get what he expected from a recent eBay purchase. 19 year old United Kingdom resident Peter Clay Clatworthy paid $750 for a piece of paper he thought was an Xbox One as part of an eBay scam denoting ham post reported today. 
Classworthy, a student from Billsborough, said he saved up to buy the limited edition day one system as a Christmas gift for his young son. Now, let me uh, retract uh, retract what I said earlier because, you know, in uh, various places of the world, you know, these consoles may cost uh, more than what it costs in the U.S. Like, you know, because the PS4 costs $400 here, it might cost, like, thousands of dollars in other places so let me retract that part of my uh of what i said earlier maybe that was the original price of it uh maybe it wasn't uh but whatever um so it said class worthy a student from uh, okay the auction listing stated it was for a photo of the console not the system itself however clay's worthy said he still expected to proceed Ugh expected to receive the Xbox One because the item was listed in video games and consoles category on eBay. Now here's the problem with this part right here. Okay, okay, this is where I want to start insulting and if um, you feel like me insulting him is a bad thing then please leave so your innocent ears doesn't get tainted. But he's a fucking idiot and he basically deserved what he got reason I say this is because buyers blow the shit out of me they blow the living fucking shit out of me okay you knew it was a photo of a console but yet you still said okay I'm just gonna buy it anyway if the seller specifically states if you read the description if he specifically states or have in the title that it's just a photo or it's just this of the product and you get it and then complain about it then you're stupid as hell because you should should have paid attention to the goddamn title and the, the goddamn description and the uh you know the, the seller's feedback he said I looked at the seller's feedback and there was nothing there was nothing negative I bought it there and then because I thought it was a good deal he said it's obvious now I've been calling out of my money here's another problem with this this piece right here okay so he said he looked at the seller's feedback and there was nothing negative but obviously it wouldn't be nothing negative because the people got what they wanted the people those people that actually left all that positive feedback actually took the time to read the description and to pay attention to the title and you know what was in the picture itself and you know his feedback and blah 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 this idiot didn't took the time to do any of that only thing he looked at was the feedback and assumed oh he has positive feedback so he must not be a bad seller or um you know uh he sold this so da 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 but you looked at his feedback and you thought oh because he was a pot he has all this positive feedback he has all that positive feedback because he was selling what the hell he had picture in that picture now if the the the, the seller li literally says I have a picture of an Xbox one and actually has a picture printed out from his printer of the console then what would still make you say oh I'm gonna buy it come on dude come the hell on come on <laughs> Hi, now to like you can't sit up here and buy things online and you read the description or you read the title of it and then when you finally get it you bitch about it knowing you knowing what the hell it was and you knowing what you were getting you shouldn't sit there and bitch about oh this is not what I ordered but your dumb ass didn't pay attention to what the seller had in the description what the uh, seller had the title as and basically you know his feedback and blah 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 that's nobody's fault but yours not the sellers it's your fault because you wasn't paying attention he said he has since brought the matter to ebay's attention the auction site looked into the case and told classworthy he will receive a full refund thanks to paypal coverage for such scenarios and it's ridiculous that they would even give him his money back because his dumb ass couldn't read and now the seller has to suffer because of his stupid ass we don't allow listings which mislead and will take action against the seller. And he said, they, they say, they say we don't allow listings which mislead and will take action against the seller. I also find that pretty stupid too. Because again, if the seller had the title and the description of what the hell you were getting, then what the hell would still make you go and purchase the damn thing? That's your dumb ass fault, not the seller's. And I'm not saying all sellers are 
uh good and you know all of them out <clears throat> and i'm not like defending them and saying they're all good and blah 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 well there are some good sellers obviously but you know what i'm saying i'm defending the seller defending the seller on this because this is a pretty ridiculous situation for him to knowingly buy the product knowing what it was and then complain about it and then now he's getting a free console and he's getting a refund are you serious that's bullshit to me and for ebay to actually take his side and say we don't allow mis listings which mislead and the the item wasn't even misleading when it literally stated what the hell he was gonna get is fucking ridiculous it's really ridiculous um so um okay that's the end of the article but again again and again it's fucking stupid he's a stupid ass buyer and i feel like he's he would be one of them type of people that literally would do this for any product he buys online to be like okay i know what it is buys and be like oh no i've been scammed and then they give him the free product and his money back so and in the end he's going to be getting off good which isn't fair to the seller so i don't know leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of the situation what i think of it is pretty ridiculous i don't believe the man should have gotten a refund nor should he have gotten a free console if he knew what the hell he was buying and it literally stated in the title and the description if he read it and paid attention to it and i just went straight to the damn feedback then he would do what the hell he was getting but yeah leave your thoughts down below let me know what you think of this situation i'll get back to your comments as fast as i possibly can deuces